Good Saturday morning. I hope you're having a wonderful beginning of the official weekend. About to rain, but we want the Lord to flood us with His Spirit. Hey, we are in a series of Psalm 17 or 47 or 77 or 107 or 137, whatever the Lord spoke to you. Mm. And verse 3 of chapter 17, Psalms, Thou hast Prove my heart, thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me and shalt find nothing. I am purposed that my mouth shall not transgress. I do not want to sin with what comes out of my lips. I want the Lord to be glorified. And the, why? Because the Lord visited me in the night hours, physically, mentally, emotionally when it was so dark right and i tell you i have to go to psalms 107 oh give thanks unto the lord that's what i commit to do for the rest of my days because god is so real give thanks unto the lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever let the redeemed of the lord say so let the ones who have been defended by our god say so whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I was, you know, we had a chance to talk to Timotheus before launching him off officially tomorrow. His dad spoke to him and we were just, you know, having a talk to him. As far as the enemy is on his heels. <laughs> the other night, the Lord showed me that um, something very heavy dropped on his uh, foot, his toe. He thought it was broke. I, I just went out the house um, and I, you know we put ice on it and it was just excruciating pain. Prayed, you know, laid hands, and like I said, I went out the house. I said, Lord, heal him, heal him, because um, it was you know his everything was still intact and everything. Do you know when he came back, he was walking fine. Hallelujah! The enemy wanted to prevent him from going to college. That was just the third occurrence that happened that day because especially the devil does not want him to do well and prosper and to do exactly the mission and assignment that the Lord has pre-appointed even before he was born. So this is why we can shout because the Lord visit us in the nighttime and he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Did anything from Psalms uh, speak to you? Psalms 107 verse 27 Can we hear you? They reeled and staggered like set, like drunks And all their skills as sailors became useless mm -hmm. So um, all of our skills and like all of our things we, we know Are mm -hmm. basically pointless when it comes to God And like he knows everything mm -hmm. So it's basically, you know, we can learn all this We can take all these classes or whatever But if we don't have uh, wisdom from God, then mm -hmm. it's all for no reason. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So he is the master educator. Make sure that the Holy Spirit is teaching everything. Okay, we are in Judges 17. 17. It coincides with the date. And it's about a man named Micah. And he made his son a priest. Right? And then he made another man a priest but the thing that uh, spoke to me was honorable is Micah took some valuables from his mom and he confessed it he said mom you know I took some silver and his mother said blessed be thou of the Lord my son verse 2 like I said when you confess when you like say you know man I'm, I'm sorry you know I did this look confess and forsake the promise is that the Lord will cleanse us of all unrighteousness he will forgive us so don't hide stuff you know thinking that no one else will know mm -mm, God sees and once you uh, forsake that the Lord cleanses you please you will have a liberty and a freedom like never before and you'll be able to do his work the enemy wants us to you know shh, shh, shh. Oh, yeah, I don't want anyone to know, right? He wants us to live a life of shame and undercover. Mm -mm. Be free in the Lord. What spoke to you in this uh, chapter? Verse 2. We can't same, hear you. The same thing oh. I spoke to you because 
Um, it's not good to hide things, mm-hmm. and it's just like it can stretch. The more you like cover up lies, you know, the more mm-hmm. blessings are gonna be taken from you. So mm-hmm. it's important to you know just get rid of that sin and just confess it real quick. Hallelujah. And move on. Hallelujah. Move on. First John one nine. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hallelujah. We have all sinned. Let's not lie. Let's get the grace of God and let's be free and enjoy the blessings that he has for each one of us. Have a wonderful day in the Lord. Enjoy this rain and his many blessings. Hallelujah.